Hey everybody, this is Edjojo and welcome to another video in my series on coding with Python and specifically drawing um, using Python. As you can see, um, last time we did the, um, the square, so if I just run that again you will see that it's um, drawing a square and um, there we go and um, can also say that uh, by default the turtle starts at uh, position zero zero so the x position is zero and the y position is zero and in this case it'll move 100 forward turn right and then go into the negative uh, so that'll go down the minus for the y and um, and then come back again to zero when it gets to that so let me just close that again so we're back here so in today's video i'm going to show you um, how to apply iteration. Iteration is just where you have repeating patterns. For example, this code is being repeated uh, forward 100, right 90, and that is repeated four times. So if we have that, we can use iteration to make it shorter. And the type of iteration that we will use is, in this case, will be a loop. We will use the for loop specifically. Don't worry, it's not going to get very, very difficult. Um, that's probably the most difficult thing you're going to learn um, in the next series of videos, is the for loop. So I'm going to get rid of these three sides, um, because you probably realize by now, for a square, you had four sides, and you, that's why the repeat was four times. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to click there, and then I'm going to enter, and I'm going to put in a for loop. So I'm going to say for i in range, and that's going to be 4. And then very important, if you have a, a for loop, then you must have a colon. So, and then you're going to enter, and I'll just delete so I can get the forward in the right position. And then I'm going to enter again, and delete. So. Python is very temperamental when it comes to spaces and like tab spacings or indents and things like that. So it's very important that after um, a loop, or after a if statement and after a for, all those things, if you enter, it puts it in the right position. But that part there is also for spaces. So if you are using tabs, it's for spaces or you can just enter after the colon and it'll put it in the right position anyway. So what this piece of code means, this loop, it's called a for loop. So uh, for i, which is a, a variable, um, a variable is just a placeholder. See it as a little box that contains a value. In this case, it will uh, hold the value of 4, and it'll go around 4 times, and it's basically repeating. That's why it's called a loop. It's going to go sort of in a circle. It's going to do this code once, and then it's going to go around and twice, and all the way until it reaches that number there um, and then it'll stop it'll come out of the loop it's always important to come out of a loop otherwise if you're stuck in a loop you'll be stuck there forever so I'm gonna press F5 just to save the code and then you will see the exact same thing happening again um, and it draws the square exactly the same but you can notice that instead of having this four times which is equates to eight lines of code you now only have three lines of code for the same um, function so that makes it helps a lot it's a, you can see it as repeat as well in this case um, for i in the range of four and so on and to build a, a little function machine or a little um, drawing machine so to speak if we if we wanted to um, we can change that so um, you know to three or five or nine or whatever and we could adjust that one and it could make a new shape which I will show you later but for now I want to see if we can possibly repeat this shape this one to make a new shape so um, I'm just thinking off the top of my head now so if I go forward a um, hundred but instead of going right if I turn left um, that means it'll go up. So I go left 90 and then if I go forward again So I'll just say forward and let's keep it to 100. So forward 100. Actually, I'm probably going to use this quite a lot So I'm just going to copy that um, So we go for so I'm going to go forward and then left 90 then forward 100 Then I'm going to go right uh, 90 and then I'm going to go forward 100 
Uh, where am I now? So I go forward, left, forward, right, forward. Now I need to go right again. Oops. Right. 90. Um, I'm going to go forward again. And then I'm going to turn left. 90. And then I'm going to go forward. Forward again. And I think I have it on it. So I go forward, left, forward, right forward right forward left yes and then the only thing I'm left to do here is just to turn right nine oops not 900 90 I think if that is correct then I should have the shape of a cross or like a hospital cross something like that let's see I'm going to save it as something different this time so file save as I'm gonna call it cross just so you can see cross. Let me save that and let's see. I hope this will because I haven't planned this. I just did it off the top of my head. So let's see what happens. Um, oh, I need to run it. F5. So now hopefully it's going to be the shape of a cross. There we go. So far. So ooh, I went wrong there. So I need to. Oh, it did. Oh, that's interesting. I did not plan on having that. I did plan on that. 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 Oh, it did go. Actually, it did. It did go the way I planned it. Right, so there we got some sort of a cross um, going like that. So that's quite cool. That is quite cool. So there's a, a sort of stepping cross shape thingy. So let me close that and close that one again. So uh, and then we're going to just say drawing a shape. Drawing a shape. And then I'm just going to run that again. And then you can see if I double click. Where are you there? If I just double click that that's the shape that I've just made so again what I did was I repeated that there I repeated that four times there there and there so um, that's quite interesting there's a lot of things you can do um, with repetition so so that's that and um, how much time have we gone seven minutes I think I'm gonna stop there so in this case you saw uh, we did a loop we made a new shape um, we repeated this set of commands four times and that gave us a new shape so um, that's all for this video in the next video I'm going to show you how to add um, or actually how to use a loop to make different uh, shapes in uh, possibly um, triangle pentagon hexagon I think is what I'll do in the next short video thank you for watching see you in the next video